Hey Mark, great to see you. So what is Idol Army Base? Uh, it's a new Idol game by us where we have taken the player to a position where they're training their own army to go out and to war and take over the world. How was Neon Play optimizing UA campaigns before using Iron Source's RAS optimizer? To go down to the source level, you've got to find sources um, and you've obviously got to change your bids at the source level. Um, we were trying to be overly simplistic to make life easier for ourselves. So we're trying to bid higher on idle games because our game's idle. We were trying to bid a little bit lower on hyper casual games because we found the quality of users there weren't quite as good. And what I mean by the quality of user is that they weren't uh, backing out on the, the, the back end of the ROAS. So they weren't basically earning us as much money. So therefore bidding lower so we didn't mm -hmm. lose any margin. Um, but there's a lot of sources. I mean, Iron Source advertises in a lot of games. So you know, it, it, it's very difficult. We could only really worry about sort of the top 50, bottom 50 and change bids that way. So the ROAS optimizer uh, is really important because it's doing that across every source uh, and it's it can do the proper maths on it. You can actually mm -hmm. figure out the exact ROAS per source. So rather than us going, oh, it's just add a few cents here, reduce a few cents there. Um, this is actually calculating the best um, bid to really maximize the volume uh, and also obviously maintain the ROAS that we're after. What would you say is the biggest benefit of using the Iron Source ROAS optimizer? I'd say that the, the biggest thing is it allows us to really grow volume. Uh, that's really what we're getting out of the ROAS optimizer. How did the Iron Source team help you get the most out of the optimizer? The team that we work with is really, really good. Um, we actually ran the campaign for about seven days with manual bidding. And then the data engineers at uh, Iron Source went through the data. They asked us about our K factors, the ROAS goals. And then with that, they, uh, they set up the optimizer on our behalf and um, we, we kicked it off. And to be honest, it's been working really well since. What are your favorite features of the Iron Source UA platform? It's just the ease of reporting and drilling down into metrics. Uh, it has it all the information there. It might be a few columns away. Like if I want to look at the day 14 RAS, that's not immediately there, but it's a very simple column to add. And that level of reporting uh, is missing on a lot of platforms. Why is it so good? I think ultimately it's because we're also using the Iron Source um, mediation system, which means that we get a very good view of the actual revenue we're making from users at the user level. And obviously that then feeds back into the UA system so that that reporting is super accurate. And obviously that's how um, Iron Source is able to get it, the, the optimizer to work in the first place. And finally, what's your favorite part of working with Iron Source? Iron Source is actually a bit of a different company to a lot of the other ones we work with. They are actually a fun bunch of people. Uh, and when we get on calls, you know, it's not just, let's just talk some boring numbers. I mean, numbers are important, but it's actually the fact that we have a more of a personal relationship with them. That's definitely my favorite part.